Okay, welcome back. We're going to continue on with where we left off. Okay, one of the first things I want to do up here is go into rendering, let's go up to indirect illumination, and make sure final gather is turned on. Set that to low, set the bounces to three, just so we have something that we can see there. Okay, um, let's add just some basic textures to some of these pieces so that we can see where we're going. We'll grab this ceiling piece, which is named ceiling, go up here, let's just uh, click on the first one, and we'll name that ceiling, and we're going to go to standard here, and then click arc and design, and we're going to give it a color of just pure white, and then we're going to reduce reflectivity and glossiness here, and then we're going to apply that to there, we'll grab this floor, come up here, Name it Floor. Again, go to Arc and Design. Let's click on the uh, color box next to it for the texture. We'll click Bitmap. And I'm going to come into this area here where I've got some textures already saved out. We'll click this darker wood. Okay. Let's apply that. And let's show it. And let's tile it. Uh, let's say 14 by 14. Okay, now let's go up to the parent, and we're going to set this reflectivity to like 0.3, and glossiness to say 0.5. Okay, that's good. Okay, now let's click on these walls, and let's click the third slot, make that walls, come up here to standard. Now let's scroll way down. And we're going to go to uh, paint. Actually, let's go to wall paint. We're going to go to mat. And let's scroll down and let's pick a uh, per periwinkle blue. Okay. And you'll see here flat and mat, and we'll apply it with a brush. And let's make that a little bit darker. And let's apply that to that room. Okay, let's click on this crown molding. Let's go up here. We'll call this trim. Go to standard. Scroll back up to arc and design. Let's uh, make it white. Let's make this point three. Let's make this point three. Let's apply that. Let's grab the baseboard. Let's apply the trim to the baseboard as well. Then let's grab these windows. Just want to make sure we're grabbing just the windows, not the lights. So let's grab this window here and apply that. And apply that. Apply it. Let's apply it also to the door. Okay. And now I'm going to uh, I'm going to put this on pause and I'm going to render the image and then we'll be right back. Okay, here's the render. Um, as you can see, let's point out a few things. Number one, there's quite a bit of blotchiness up in here in the ceiling. Uh, the room kind of looks a little bit darker than I'd like. Some of these highlights are a little brighter than I'd like. And uh, it's got a nice sheen on the floor here. You can see a little bit of light hitting the ceiling from here. Um, we're going to do some adjustments on some of these things to make it a little bit better. And let's start in with that. As you can see here, this light is uh, kind of low in the sky, where straight up would be 12 o'clock. This is probably 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, so, yeah, it wouldn't be as bright as it would be uh, 12, but let's say, let's start with this. Let's go here to its uh, modify panel, and let's set this down to, like, say, 0.4. You can see it reduces that shine on the floor quite significantly. And let's take these, and let's kind of bump those up to 2, okay? And let's bump all of these up to 2. Get a little bit brighter, okay, 
Let's take these ones up to two as well. Let's take these up to two. Okay. Now, um, we'll leave these ones for now. But one of the things I want to do here is to go up here to my standard primitives, click on plane, take the length and width segments down to one, and then I'm going to just kind of draw it a little plane right here. I'm going to drag this back outside of this window right here and kind of center it between those two windows. And I'm going to scale that up a little bit until it covers that window pretty well. Just a touch, scale it just a little bit more, okay, and uh, okay. Now let's just right click on this, convert it to an editable polygon, go up here, let's click on an empty slot, call it background, we're going to make it two sided. We're going to make it fully illuminated, we turn down the glossiness, and then in the diffuse channel, we're going to click bitmap, and we're going to come up here and find, let's use this skyline image, we'll hit assign material, and show in viewport, and now I'm going, and you won't be able to see it here, but I'm going to render this for you, I'll show you what these lighting changes and this, uh, uh, background image is going to look like. Um, be right back after it renders. Okay, hold on. Okay, here's the new render. Um, you can see here I've added this really nice background image so that you have a little bit bad adds to the realism uh, significantly. Uh, you can see here by adding, by upping the intensity of some of these lights, it's kind of reduced some of that. Um, artifacting we have in there. We still have some here, but we can adjust that uh, as we go. Uh, but uh, it's uh, looking much better now. So let's go in here. Let me show you a couple other things that I did while we were. This image here where the background is mapped onto it, let's just right click and go to object properties. Let's start with the mental ray. What we want to do is have return object color. We want that on. We want uh, receive illumination from final gather. We want that on, we want receive caustics turned on, and we want to exclude, just click this one here, exclude from GI calculations. Then let's go to the general tab, and we want to turn off receive shadow and cast shadow. Then we want to go to the advanced lighting tab, and also turn off uh, cast shadow. Okay? Because if you don't, let me show you what will happen. Let's go back to the ob object properties and go to this and we'll turn these on and we'll go to advanced lighting we'll turn that on you can see how these reflections or these nice highlights on the floor get obscured okay so watch this now we'll turn this let's move this out of the way and we'll turn off cast shadows there and on general receive and cast shadows there now watch the floor there you go it comes back okay so uh, we've got this uh, set up pretty well. We're uh, doing pretty well as far as setting up our lighting and getting our textures uh, laid out the way we want. Um, I think I'll stop this one here, and uh, when I come back, uh, we'll continue on with this. Uh, just go ahead and save this one out. I'm going to save this as a Video Tut 3. You save yours, and I'll see you uh, in the next one. Thanks for watching.